welcome to National Number Knockout, also known as N2K. Here's how you play. The game is played using three dice, a board of the numbers 1 to 36, a timer, and a pencil. The student must combine all three numbers that are rolled, employing addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponents, and roots in such a way that the result is a number from 1 to 36. All three numbers must be used once and cannot be used more than once. Powers and roots can only be applied to one of the numbers rolled on the dice, not to a combination of the three rolled numbers. Begin by rolling the dice. Students must pay attention to how they state their equations. They must remember to follow the order of operations, stating multiplication and division before addition and subtraction. Here are a couple of examples. 6 times 2 plus 4 is 16. 6 times 4 divided by 2 is 12. 2 times 6 divided by 4 is 3. If a student wishes to stray from the order of operations, they must state each part of the equation parenthetically by stating the intermediate solution. 6 minus 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Powers and roots can be stated anywhere in an equation, but can only be applied to one number, not to a combination of numbers. 4 squared plus 2 plus 6 is 24. And don't forget about the power of 0. 2 times 6 to the power of 0 times 4 to the power of 0 is 2. If a student begins an equation incorrectly, or simply states an incorrect equation, he may say scratch and begin again, or restart the equation. An equation may only be scratched if the student has not begun to state his next equation. For example, 6 times 4 is 26 plus scratch. Be sure to practice properly stating equations. Once you know how to properly state equations, you are ready to consider the next element of N2K, scoring. Your score is simply the face value of all the numbers you crossed off. Now let's talk about the final element of N2K, challenges. While one student is playing the game, another student, the challenger, is listening to their equations and checking their work. Remember to wait until after the 60-second round is over before voicing your challenge. Once a challenge is verified, the value of the incorrect answer is cancelled, and then deducted from the incorrect student's score for that round. In other words, the student will lose the points he gained wrongfully and will also be penalized by that amount. If, on the other hand, a correct equation is challenged and the judge finds that the equation is correct, the face value of the answer to the challenge equation will be deducted from the challenging student's score. If a false equation is not challenged, the student retains the points. Now that you know how to play National Number Knockout, you are ready to prepare for the national competition that will take place in Orlando, Florida. So start practicing!